What's up guys, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of table views. I'm not going to go into depth in this video, but if you check out my channel, I have videos on how to create customized cell for a table view and how to create axes for the table view. So go check that out on the channel. But right now, I think we should start with the basics. Here we have an empty Xcode project. This is a single view application called Table View App. I will start off by going into the manual storyboard and get rid of this view controller here, and then drag and drop a table view controller. We will be making use of that, so I will then uh, click it and go into the attribute inspector and select is initial view controller. This will generate this little arrow here, which basically just means that when we compile and run the app, this will be the first view we see. I will then go into the view controller and rename it to table table view controller and the UI view controller to UI table view controller. I will then go back to the main storyboard, select the table view controller, go into the identity inspector and find the class table view controller and select it. Now when that's selected, we are connected to the class, so we can start writing some code. When we work with table views, we always make use of two specific functions as a minimal, and the first function is called table view self row at index path. So basically what this function does is that it creates a cell for us and it gives us the opportunity to populate that cell with whatever we want to. So if we want to have a label in this cell, we can do that and write that code right here. So the second function is called table view number of number of rows in section. So this is this explains itself a little. This just means that it defines how many rows we want in our table view. So that's all. I would like to create a table view with four names. So I will create an array of names called name array. And in here I will create th four names. The first one will be Henrik. The second one will be Steve. The third one will be Kevin. And the fourth will be Bob. Now we have four names, and this function wants us to return an integer. So in here, I will return how many names we have by saying return name array dot count. And we can count four names. Whoops, Hendril, Hendrik. We can count four names, so this will return the number four. Then we will have to create a cell, and I will do that by creating a let call cell, and it will be equal to the table view dot dq reusable cell, which needs an identifier, and we have to create that. To create the identifier, I will go to the main storyboard, select the table view controller, go into the attribute inspector. Whoops, sorry, select the cell down here go to the attribute inspector and here we will find the identifier. This is just some kind of string um, which will identify the cell and you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it cell. So back in here I will say cell and we want to display all the four names in our table view so down here I will say cell dot text label dot text is equal to our name array and we will say index path dot row to get all the names and then we will return the cell just like that and if we compile and run the application now we can see that we get the table view with our four names in it and that's what we wanted
that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video then leave a like below and if you have any questions then leave a comment below if you like the content of course go hit the subscribe button also for more videos in the future i would definitely recommend you guys going into my channel right now and see the video about how to create customized cells for the table view and how to create actions for the table view because now we have learned the basics but we have to keep on moving and learn even more to create even better apps guys see you guys in the future Thank <music> you.